is MRI or CT scan better for looking at a parotid tumor? I'm Dr. Bob Aklarian for Center for Advanced Parotid and Facial Nerve Surgery, and we're just gonna discuss the difference today. CT scans use radiation to look at the tissue inside. They mostly delineate the bones really, really well. The soft tissue, still they look at it fairly well, but not quite as well as the detail an MRI can give us. MRI doesn't use any radiation, it uses magnets and polarity. And it's a wonderful tool in looking at the detail of the soft tissue, not the bone. The MRI doesn't show bone so well, but it does look at the soft tissue really well. So if you look at the images that we have here of a CT scan looking at the tumor within it versus the MRI with the tumor within it, you can see the beginning and ending of the tumor on the MRI very, very clearly. So if you wanna know the size, shape, and dimensions, where the tumor is, where it is in relation to other structures, muscles, blood vessels, and so on, you're gonna get a much better picture with an MRI. So MRI is a preferred uh, test for looking at tumors of the salivary glands, specifically of the parotid. Now there is another tool that's really, really good as well, ultrasound. So if you have a tumor that's superficial and fairly on the surface, you can use an ultrasound, and that can delineate a tumor very well too, probably better than a CT scan. However, if the tumor goes deep inside and under the jaw, you're gonna need an, an imaging modality that looks deeper. Both CT scan and MRI look deep also, but the MRI also gives you more details. So when a patient comes to me, if I see them in the office and I see and feel the mass and feel it's superficial, I'll do an ultrasound myself in the office and look at it. That may be adequate enough to do what I need, to see it and maybe even be able to use the ultrasound to do a biopsy right then and there for the patient so they can know exactly what kind of tumor they're dealing with because there's a multitude of tumors. There's 15 benign types of tumors that happen in the parotid and 20 cancers that happen in the parotid. Um, in addition to lymphomas and cancers coming from other places. So looking at imaging really helps begin the process of figuring out what you have and what we have to do to deal with it. Um, if, if the ultrasound is not adequate enough or the tumor is going too deep once I see the person in the office, then I'll order an MRI. Rarely I'll get a CT scan if I think the tumor is sitting next to the bone all the way up in the skull, and it, I have a feeling that the tumor may be eating into the bone, so in cancers that are aggressive. So sometimes I'll order a CT scan as well, but that's when I have concerns about the bone and the integrity of the bone. Otherwise, ultrasound in, in the hands of the surgeon, very good tool, but MRI gives the best detail to try to figure out where, where the tumor is, how big it is, and what would be the next best step to help. Thank you for listening. If you find this video helpful, please leave a comment. If you have any questions or concerns, I'm happy to communicate with you. You can leave your questions with me or you can come on our website. There's a lot more detail about parotid and salivary gland tumor. Hopefully this is very helpful and I'm always available to, to help. Have a wonderful day.